So today we have a uh, Romos PEA 40 Pro power bank with power. It says it has 40,000 mAh uh, power bank with 65 watt power delivery and has around 174 watt hour. Here are the specifications. Capacity 148 watt hours. PA 40 is the model number. What I'm interested in is in the output. So it can supply 15 volt at 3 ampere, 12 volt at 3 ampere, or 20 volts at 3.25. So either 15 volt 45 watts 12 watts is 36 watts and 65 watt 65 watts is only achievable on 20 volts output i got it from aliexpress for 47 dollars in ali choice let's see what is inside yeah packing seems to be sturdy and heritage yeah, it is quite heavy, around 916 grams, which is almost a kilo, but you get more juice. And again, the same specifications. What kind of connections it has? It has one USB-C, two normal USB, one the micro USB and one seems to be the iPhone connection. It also came with a cable which is not very big or very long but it will serve the purpose. Let's discharge it. So whether it can discharge to other power bank or not we will see now doesn't seem to be the case handshake is good still not successful But at least it says 11.5 volts. Let's do it again. Okay, so power bank is a tricky one. Okay, now I have connected a laptop and it is charging at around 19.87, 1.6 amperes, around 45 watts or 50, where it can be seen here. Discharging currently at around 52 watts. So with that, this number should come very fast to zero. So, let's see, can it also be used to charge multiple at once? Ah, it seems that if I take out or plug in any USB port, it resets itself. Oh, this is not good. And now it is not charging anything. Yeah, but now at 5 volts, not 20 volts. Then when I take it out, Now it is 20 volts. Okay, 
so if you want the higher power delivery don't use others usb ports let me check other one yeah okay so it seems um, you cannot use the pd port if you use the normal usb port as output you can see and it is not going hmm. this doesn't seems to be good still it doesn't work so to work with the PD again it needs to be taken out and let's see if it resets and supplies 20 volts yet it's that and it seems uh, yeah even at 4% it is co it is constant with the output with 52 watts okay let's wait it to be empty and see how it performs in the charging and let's see how it is charging yeah so one more bad thing doesn't seem to be work here that it is showing not zero or one percent but starting direct from 49 percent and how much charge it is getting it is charging at 60 watts and my power station is taking 65 watts to produce 60 watts yeah and it starts at 49 percent 19.9 volts 20 volts around 3 amperes which is the same as the output yeah but the display doesn't seem to be very correct and let's come to the part where it gets interesting to see what is inside so it seems to me that it has yeah four pieces of 10,000 damage lipo batteries at 37 watt hours seems to be new I will find out who the manufacturer is and a big heatsink sticker and what chipset is there is not very much clear but it is very much a Romos board chipset I don't know and there seems to be also a balance board so it is connected in an 4S configuration and how much voltage is it? It is 16 volt. So let's stop charging and see how much voltage the batteries have. Are they really 49%? So I took out the charging. It is let's see what does it there seems to be one temperature sensor and here we can find out on which chip it is, it is based on so let's see it is 
IP five three eight nine. I don't know whether it is readable or not. So it is IP5389 and a very big inductor. Okay, so that's it folks. So I will now try to put it all together and see if it still works. I hope it will. Yeah, I think except for display where the capacity is not correctly shown, maybe it is correctly shown, but 49% is not zero percent so something is wrong with the power bank or with the chipset or the display circuitry which is used so maybe I have to live with that or maybe I will return it and ask for a refund yeah so that's it for the review and tear down for this Romos 40,000 mAh power bank with 65 watt PD which seems to be well made, well made but it has its problem where uh, you cannot use multiple ports at the same time to output so decide yourself whether to buy it or not that's it for the review if you like it subscribe and like it give comments Thanks for watching, till the next video, bye bye.